Yes, guys, you can see the date stamp on that one. That is not, in fact, reminiscing about the old days. No, 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 no. That's a, uh, what is that? Yeah, Attorney General Merrick Garland. You got Raphael Warnock right there coming into screen, of course. Yeah, and then you got Nancy Pelosi there. What do you notice? What do you notice? This is, in fact, a flashback to 2019, 2018, or anything like that. No, no, no. They're waiting for the old man to just shuffle up to the podium and make his presence known because when you're a Democrat and you're waiting around in the White House, guess what? There is no more need for wearing face masks, even though... That was something Biden was very, very, very clear that he was going to make sure that everybody was wearing a mask and we're going to have an executive order mandating mask mandates on federal grounds because I'm in charge and I'll show you. But there's been uh, some information out there, okay, right, that um, HIPAA would be able to protect you from showing your papers in certain private private places and um yeah that's not necessarily the truth but at the same time what the fact checkers are running on is that uh, businesses can legally ask if patrons have been vaccinated yeah they can ask uh do they have the legal authority to ask you to produce any sort of tangible information mm, not so much but they can legally ask that's what the usa today is running with because they just want you to be scared at all times uh, the claim, uh, HIPAA prevents anyone from asking you if you are vaccinated as mask wearing and social distancing guidelines relax, but you shouldn't because you should be scared forever. You wouldn't want to bring home the virus and infect one of your cats because then you would only have six if one of your cats died. For fully vaccinated people, businesses are um, navigating how to implement new policies in their stores. Are they or are they just going to have to get rid of all of that old signage that uh, people hate with a passion? Many businesses are ending mask requirements only for ugh, fully vaccinated customers. Vaccine opponents? No, I'm pretty sure that uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene's probably very much in favor of what, like a smallpox vaccine, polio vaccine, hepatitis vaccine, you know, a vaccine for something that's actually dangerous. But no, 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 vaccine opponents, including uh, Marjorie Taylor Greene, are using the occasion to resurrect the false claim that uh, had the government would actually you know be able to intervene and maintain your god-given rights you know something that they should probably look into doing but they won't because they like to control privacy laws that protect individuals from being asked about their vaccination status show me your tattoo on may 18th several gop members refused to wear a mask on the house floor in defiance of house rules on mask wearing including green and guess who are fully vaccinated house members so what the fuck? What the fuck are we doing here? But no, no, no. It's been debunked, guys. It's been debunked. Experts say HIPAA does not cover vaccinations. USA Today debunked a similar version of the claim last summer when mask opponents encouraged others to claim HIPAA allowed them to avoid mask mandates. And of course, we've got HIPAA pulled up right here because I could give a fuck about what USA Today has to say. They're just as bad and just as corrupt as CNN, the Associated Press, ABC, CBS. They just throw some letters into a hat and pull them out and they're a corrupt media outlet. At least in my opinion. The Health Insurance Portability and Accountability Act of 96 is a federal law that requires the creation of national standards to protect sensitive patient health information from being disclosed without a patient's consent or knowledge. The United States Department of Health and Human Services ugh, issued the HIPAA, vi er, HIPAA privacy rule to implement the requirements of HIPAA. The HIPAA security rule protects a subset of information covered by the pri excuse me, privacy rule. So who does it cover? Healthcare providers, you know, people that, um, regardless of the size of practice, who electronically transmit health information in connection with certain transactions, wouldn't really fit a private business. Health plans and titles that, Oh, entities, sorry, that provide or pay for the cost of medical care. Yeah, once again, it wouldn't really matter. The only one that would just be kind of tertiarily connected-ish business associates, but I read it. It doesn't really fit. So at the end of the day, yeah, it doesn't really prevent you from doing anything. And always, yeah, oh, my private business can do whatever it wants. So if you're looking for any security that's on the books right now, eh, you're going to come up lacking, okay? Even though you have a right to assemble, you have a right to free speech. Uh, unfortunately, people can ask you for your papers. Now, can they kick you out if you don't provide them the ones that they want to see? Eh, maybe not. 
I don't know, just walk around with a day-old newspaper, if you ask me. But as you can see, that's not going to stop Nancy Pelosi. If you're not vaccinated, then don't even come to the house floor. Thanks, Nancy Palpatine. House Speaker Nancy Lugosi suggested Thursday unvaccinated House members should not come to the House floor to vote, but should vote from the gallery regardless of her masking rules. I mean, we could come to a place where we could say if you don't want to wear a mask and you don't want to, if you're not vaccinated, then don't even come to the floor. Don't do it. We have facilities up above in the gallery. Oh, cool. At least you get to be above of everybody else. I kind of like this now. Where people can come to vote. We don't want to deter anybody's ability to exercise their constitutional duties. Fuck off, you power-hungry bitch. And how is she going to enforce this? Well, apparently she thinks that an honor system is not sufficient to believe someone is vaccinated because she is one of the proponents of the people who want you to carry around your papers all the time. Okay. Oh, no, don't worry. It's just going to be an app that's going to be on your phone. You'll have a cue card. You'll be able to, or uh, sorry, not a cue card, a QR code. That's what uh, Joe Biden has to read off of. And he still can't stop from slipping in fag every once in a while whenever he's referring to a flag and he can't even probably count as high as the many of the stars that are on the fucking flag to begin with so who knows don't care but the qr code that's just going to be on your phone it's just going to be a little app that don't worry it's just going to be it's just going to prove how many vaccinations you've had and you you get your seventh one free if you get your first six and don't mind the fact that you keep falling down because you fucking can't see straight but whatever you're you're vaccinated just show your code and we won't be sharing any of your data out there and won't be tracking you constantly because it's the government app and you can just make sure that uh, everything is fine and you'll be able to just go about free It'll just be the new normal, guys. Don't worry about it. House Speaker, the Crypt Keeper, said Thursday she believes the honor system is not sufficient because she's as corrupt, and this is just purely projection. Someone is vaccinated. While explaining the dangers of being unvaccinated because she knows it, I trust her. I'm sure she's probably been to a doctor once. Uh, we've known she's definitely been to a couple of doctors, but I don't think I'd take the medical advice of a plastic surgeon. Despite her mask wearing rules and vaccination, Pelosi's rhetorically asked, what is this, the honor system? She continues, the honor system as to whether someone has been vaccinated. Do you want them breathing in your face and the strength of their honor? No, in order for you to get to become the Speaker of the House, you'd have them breathing down your neck. Just ask Kamala. Pelosi's comments come after White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki was asked during a press conference on May 17th whether the, whether it is worrisome for businesses. No, and also people in the press corps have never worked a day job in their life. This is just a burden of among everything else for businesses to be operating on an honor system that would put kids or even immunocompromised Americans at risk. Who gives a shit? If you're fucking scared, stay home. That's where I'm at right now. But yeah, Pataki responded, so the guidance is actually pretty uh, clear, yeah, of course, but it gives people the information and the power to be able to protect themselves. If you get vaccinated, you go through your two doses, your two weeks past your doses, you no longer need to wear a mask, okay? If you are not, you should still wear a mask and protect others, but also to protect yourself. And it also makes clear that kids should still wear masks. Fuck off. Fuck off. Speaking of people who should fuck off, Americans misinterpreting CDC guidance on masks. It's not a removal of the mask mandate. You should still wear masks. Wear masks inside. Wear masks next to people you know, okay? But meanwhile, I'm just going to go out. And uh, it's all for show, people. That's what I think. You know, I've been vaccinated. It's, it's fine. Fauci this week said Americans are misinterpreting the CDC's very obvious rules that if you're fully vaccinated, don't worry, wearing a mask inside, you fucking have next to no problems. And uh, just take a look at some of their other tertiary reports that say if, even if you do happen to get reinfected, even though that is super small, you are more than likely to experience extremely mild symptoms or none at all. <laughs> Imagine that. Guidance on masks stating that it's not equivalent to removal of mask mandates. I'd like to have you wearing masks until, you know, like 2023 or some shit because I got stakes in different mask places. Have you heard of my pillow? 
I think everybody are misinterpreting, thinking that the removal of the mask mandate for everyone, it's not. God, uh, there's only one removal that I would approve of, and that is you from that chair right there, hopefully at a high speed through a windshield. But what else does uh, the Crypt Keeper have to say? we will almost certainly require a coronavirus booster shot because it's never enough. Don't remove your mask, get vaccinated, and then get revaccinated every, I don't know, what are they going to think? I would initially think it's six months and then they'll probably just bump it up to every quarter and then it'll be a monthly type thing. That's just my idea. I, I haven't read this article yet, but I'd imagine that's probably where we're going. Fully vaccinated Americans will almost certainly require a coronavirus booster shot within a year of getting their primary injection. Oh, okay, so they're going to be so bold as to try to push it off. Okay, yeah, yeah, once a year. Don't worry. It's just like the flu shot. Flu shot. And you know who normally gets the flu shot? Elderly high-risk people. Hmm. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, nothing like that, though. Nothing like that. We know that the vaccine durability of the efficacy lasts at least six months, do you? Um, it was lifetime, and then it was four months, but now it's six months. Weird. And likely considerably more. Okay, then why would you need a booster shot if it's likely considerably more? It's almost like none of this stuff is really well researched and we're all still in an experimental phase. But he's just parroting stuff from a Pfizer CEO, Albert, Albert Bourla, who stands to make a lot of money of this. Even though he had a triggered sell-off. God, this was just after the initial vaccines were reported that um, he had a big sell-off and he stood to lose some money. But at the same time, the whatever stocks he has left are still going right through the fucking roof. Because Pfizer's one of those vaccines that hasn't had any additional health-related side effects. I'll keep it as vague as I can while still being specific. They've been uh, pretty decent, pretty decent. But that's what Fauci's parodying. So, of course, every year you need to get your flu vaccine. I, uh, I don't think so. I've never had the regular common flu shot. I've been doing pretty fine. It's going to be the same with COVID, I think. Well, just make it one shot and the people who want to get it can fucking get it, okay? And how about you refine it so people don't fucking, I don't know, end up springing a leak in their dome. But maybe that's a good thing. If they get a couple, then they can run for president and then definitely get 100% legitimately elected. But while we're doing all of this time, all this stuff, sorry, refining the vaccine strategy, maybe we should get to the bottom of this. Maybe we should find out the root cause of the virus. Then you can better understand it, better vaccinate against it. But um, unfortunately, when they were studying this stuff, a certain lab got blown up and um, all of the the research and stuff we can't get to the bottom of it and um yeah there's been a renewed interest in figuring out how the virus got out there was it bats was it bat soup was it somebody coughing in a fish market in seattle was it somebody coming over and skiing and spreading it that way or according to Jim Jordan, everything seems to be pointing to the direction of the coronavirus leak came from a Wuhan lab. It could be one of those things. I don't know for sure. During an appearance on FNC's Fox News channel, Fox News primetime representative Jim Jordan argued that there was evidence that indicated the initial outbreak of the unspecified virus from an unspecified place. Pandemic originated from a Wuhan lab in China. China. The Ohio Republican lawmaker noted the reluctance of congressional Democrats to investigate those origins. <laughs> of course not. Of course not. That would lead to many a crazy investigation as to who is uh, allocating certain funding for a certain research facility. Because the head of that is uh, one of the most popular people that is out there right now and not somebody who you'd want to be digging into his past, especially with all of his research and unethical practices when it comes to AIDS. I think that video is still up on my channel, but yeah, Fauci's not somebody you should be modeling yourself after with uh, any sort of a clear conscience. At least that's my opinion. Republicans want to look at it. You know, they also want to do a lot of stuff, but I think that this would be pretty important. The Secretary of State for President Biden has said that this problem with the World Health Organization has done. Why don't they want to look in... 
<laughs> look at the science. Oh no, they follow the science. They just don't want to question the science. That's the difference, Jim. Why don't they want to look at the evidence? Oh no, they want to look at their evidence. That's the difference. I think this applies across the board with Democrats today. So just a little shot, you know. All I know is it deserves an investigation. Yes, if you're going to have two open investigations, one by the Department of Justice and another one for a fucking committee on the Capitol riots, you should probably at least, I don't know, try to get to the bottom of something that uh, fucked the world for like a year and a half, probably longer at this point, especially up here in Canada. I don't know. I think things are starting to look bright. I'll just check my uh, weather app and see if we can go outside by 2023. But uh, all of this stuff's just a little bit damning and um, hopefully, you know, we needed the day off. So hopefully this stuff is still fairly important and relevant today i'd imagine it would be all of this coronavirus stuff just keeps fucking circling off and uh, there's new and uh depressing shit that happens every single day but i would love to see an investigation into that wuhan lab i would love to see fauci and pelosi take a trip off of their positions right off into the sunset preferably into the grand canyon and um i would love for some vocal republicans in the house marjorie taylor green to maybe get her ducks in a row before she starts shouting off at the mouth. But at the same time, if AOC is allowed to do it, fuck it, we should have our own variant of it too. And, you know, she's just as efficient at getting under the skin and of republic or not of republicans sorry of democrats and the twitter crowds so you know what fucking just keep it up you know what foot on the gas and just keep going full bore i could give a literal shit when it comes to what she does keep on doing it marge and with that said i thank you all very much for the gift of your time i've been don consuelo I want you to follow your gut and get after it take care everyone